Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and we're back with another episode of Coaster Spotlight. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at Tortego Port Hybrid Adventure Coaster, created by Brazil. So stay tuned and let's check it out. So this is a submission sent in by a subscriber, Brazil. He says, hey, Johnny, the Tortego is a coaster that I will bring that will bring you on an adventure. True, true, <laughs> true. A Caribbean styled small place called Tortego Port. The coaster itself has a lot of special effects and will shine best at the first time at night. P.S. I know we had some misunderstandings in chat a couple days ago, if you remember, but I do want you to know that I appreciate everything you do. I think I was more annoyed that my park submission where I worked on for months got ignored or maybe just overlooked. Anyways, I decided to just focus on my coaster. And well, this is my first coaster submission. Hope I have more luck this time. Oh, and before I forgot if you would find time to do this coaster, there are special events happening while you go up lift hill as i know you like speed those parts up just a heads up well thank you in advance and have a nice day brazil i'm curious to know what he meant about the misunderstanding on youtube i try not to argue with people on youtube but sometimes there are people that say things and i just let them know what's happening now I'm curious to know what he meant by the misunderstanding his name is brazil i don't know if he has a comment in here uh everybody's youtube name is different than their steam name anyways brazil i don't know what coaster uh what your park submission was and I don't know why it got overlooked, but you have to remember that there are have only been ever 50 co uh, park spotlights featured on the show, and uh, there have been hundreds of submissions. So it's pretty hard to get to all the park spotlights, and if I overlooked it, I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, you're just going to have to remind me what you meant there. So quick look at his Steam Workshop, everybody. Here's Tarkego Port by Brazil. And the links will be down in the description, as always. Come rate it, favorite it, subscribe to it, and all that good stuff. I'm I'm curious to see his workshop here because he said something about his park got overlooked. Uh, let's see if we can find it here. The Alpine River Lodge Mystery World seems like a park. Let's take a look at it. Now, I don't know what you said to me on YouTube, but this park looks really good. And I honestly don't remember ever seeing this. So if it got overlooked, maybe you emailed it wrong. Uh, we're doing things by submission form and I transferred over all the submissions into the system and I never came across this. So I think something went wrong on your end. I, 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 call, I could, you know, I'll take full responsibility if I made a mistake. However, I have never, ever, ever seen this park and it looks really good. Had I have seen this with the amount of screenshots, I would have definitely featured it. So I, I don't feel so butthurt. Uh, I would say resubmit it, simply resubmit it. It would likely get featured. So um, I don't know what the misunderstanding is. You're gonna have to personally message me check me out on discord find me let me know what the misunderstanding was let me know what your youtube name is maybe i can figure out what happened there so anyways let's take a look at this uh, coaster everybody all right tortego port welcome nice opening sign here it's a caribbean style park we got a nice little town over here is this the boarding station to the coaster it is very nice All right, nice little beach and a docking area. That's really nice. Ooh, I like this. They're uh, doing maintenance on the ship. Very believable, I like that a lot. Well done. Oh, well, that's a neat way of doing a roof. Using the swamp pieces as a, almost like a custom made grass roof top. That's, oh, you did it here as well might be a little bit repetitive. I might say stagger them a little bit. I would probably just stagger every other one. And pull some out, push some in. And randomize it a little bit more. Because it feels like the texture is repeating quite often. But I do like that idea quite a lot. So, very nice. So, let's see his workshop. Seems like these buildings, if you enjoy them, they're on his workshop. Your buildings are very nice. You have a very good workshop, uh, Brazil. So uh, definitely come join us on Discord and message me back, letting me know what this misunderstanding was, because I don't know exactly what you're talking about. And you got to realize I deal with a lot of people, I get a lot of messages, and there are a, a lot of things going on on a daily basis. And uh, I try to make sure 
all good creations make it onto the show. And from the looks of your stuff, you do very good work. So, uh, really curious to know what happened there. And I would like to talk to you more about that. So, come find me. You know where to find me. Um, and for everybody else, if you want to join our Discord as well, links, uh, information on that is down in the description of every video. You just have to find Channel 5 Gaming on Discord, send me a message and a link to your workshop, and you can come join the, the clan, the Channel 5 Gaming Planet Coaster community. Love how you put these uh, boats up on the walls here. And there's a Kraken pit. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that yet. I like a captured Kraken in a, in a, a fishing pit. That's very clever. And great boarding station for your victory ride. All right, nice little mini park. Really well done. We got a hybrid wooden steel coaster to ride. Oh, I didn't see this waterfall. That's a really nice um, area there. Now, what I would love to see more from, like, what I was kind of hoping this one would do, when I see these waterfalls, it'd be cool if this one went up and down and bursted through the waterfall. I want to see that more from people, and then you can have a triggered event, so when it comes right out of the waterfall, it poosh, splashes forward. Uh, I think that's a great opportunity for you to do that there. It could have came out through here and then back into the cove. So, it uh, doesn't need it, but I think it would have been a great spot to do it. You have one here going in, or might be coming out. I'm not quite sure. A volcano. You've used the signs. Good job there. All right. This looks like a fun little adventure coaster. So uh, he said it'd be best to ride it at night. So we will start from night, and then we'll do a day run. These tropical parts, I tropical parks, I really enjoy checking them out at daytime, personally. Now, I do love me some nighttime lighting, and this is very well lit. Lots of uh, vibrant colors here, warm colors. The volcano looks great. Don't know how I feel about the neon green, but that's all right. All right, so we will go and do that now. Let's take a look at the ride stats, everybody. 5.8 excitement, a 4.3 fear, and a 1.3 nausea. Here's the stats. It's 260 seconds in duration and almost 4,000 meters in length. A very long, exciting coaster. And whoa, there's a lot of it underground. Quite surprising. Spoiler. All right, I don't know where the boarding... Oh, this is the boarding station. Two trains on this long coaster. Hmm... So I'm assuming the two trains are based off of this one boarding station. So there are no block sections on this coaster. If you manage to get a block section in at some point at the top of a hill, that means you would have been able to fit more on. And it broke down on us just as one arrived. So we'll get this fixed up and we'll go on the coaster. Here we go. Enjoy the ride. Very nice mine shafts. Oh. Oh my. Ah. Nice. Love how it skimmed the water there. It came very close to the water, didn't it? Oh, bats! Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god, what's happening? Oh, this is crazy. 
Oh my. Beautiful uh, opening shot for the moon there. Perfect place to put your lift facing. I hear some rumbling. Oh! That was cool. Into the volcano. Great lighting triggers. Well done. Going to the Kraken pit. Ah! I didn't pop out at us. Oh, that was awesome. Great adventure coaster. It was a lot longer than I expected it to be based off of the uh, screenshots and whatnot. Really well done. Now, I don't think cinematic's going to work too well on this coaster since it's underground for so long. Um, but we will give it a daytime ride. Because why not? So we're going to have a... I think it broke down so we didn't have people on it that time. Which is kind of unfortunate. Now we got people. So we can hear them screaming a little bit. And we got to see the vibrance of everything. Love the volcano explosion as well. I wish there was a way to hide those emitters. Because I kind of saw them in the sky and I was wondering, okay, something's going to happen here. Um, I really do wish they had a, an uh, option to hide emitters. I like how it psyched you out there, and then it looks like the bridge is broken, but instead it's dropping. So, two little illusions there, where I thought we were going to go forward, and it turned left and psyched us out. And then, it looked like the, uh, the track was going to break and fall. I really like those two aspects he threw in there. I think maybe I should have gone to the back of the train. Because a lot of the experience is the same underground.
<laughs> oh yes, beautiful. Oh, game's hitching. There you have it, everybody. Bam! I really enjoyed that. It was a fun pirate adventure. I'd say probably, I mean, I'm trying to think of all the pirate coasters we've seen, but none are really standing out or coming to mind. And um, I'm trying to compare it to the other epic pirate coasters. But this one, I feel like, hopefully I'm, 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 I'm trying to bite my tongue here and uh, not make a mistake with what I'm about to say. But I'd have to say it's probably the biggest, longest, most epic pirate coaster we've ever seen on the show. Now, I might, I'd have to go back and look at all the episodes that we've done but I can't really think of one that was this long and this epic of a pirate adventure in comparison so uh, really well done definitely stands out to be one of the most epic pirate coaster experiences that we have seen yet so uh, really well done and that, once again everybody that was Torte the Tortego hybrid adventure coaster created by Brazil. links will be down in the description as always and that's going to do it for this episode of Coaster Spotlight if you guys enjoy please be sure to smash that like button and if you're new to the channel subscribe for more daily planet coaster videos all right everybody i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you guys in the next video bye now